One second, guys. Hello? Hello? Hey there. Hey, dude. Yes, uh, it's Mariano here. I understand we're gonna work on a project together uh, very soon, so you are the video editor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for the call. How can I help? Yes, uh, basically I'm just calling because uh, I'm sending you right now some footage which I filmed in Full HD, 1080p, in 16x9, at 30fps, so just in case you wanted to set up your editing project, you know. Uh, Hello? Yeah. Are you there, dude? Uh, hello, dude, yes. Thank you. Um, appreciate. Okay, cool, nice one. I'm sure you know what to do anyway. <laughs> of course, man. I've been doing it for years. Of course I know. Okay. Thanks for the call. Whether you're starting with YouTube vlogs or you are a self-shooter hired for a project or you are a video editor who is, who is about to work on a particular cut, you must know some basic information about the video you'll be working on, as this information will be needed to set up the camera, for example, or to create the appropriate editing sequences or to upload also the video in the right format on the web. So let's explore these foundations in more depth and we're gonna start from the resolution. In simple words, resolution measures how many pixels an image contains. Think of pixels like tiny, tiny bricks that make up a, a digital image. They can have a rectangular shape or a square shape. Usually the standard shape is square. Resolution is defined by the multiplication of the amount of pixel in an image's length by the amount of pixels in the same image's height. That's why when you talk about resolution you usually see numbers like 720p or 1080p which refers to the number of pixels that composes the height of an image. The bigger the resolution, the more defined is the image, the bigger is your file in terms of megabytes. We now have to introduce also the term aspect ratio, which indicates how wide your picture is in relation to its height. It's usually expressed by two numbers separated by colon, and today we are focusing on 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 4 by 3 and 1 by 1. Let's start with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and let's say we have a full HD image which is made by 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Now, if we had to break down the width of this image into 16 identical units, well, this would be the size of my unit. Yes, I'm a unit. Uh, okay, weird. Anyway, if I now reproduce my unit, Mr. Muscle here, um, along nine times along my image's height, then we're gonna cover entirely and exactly its length. And that's why my video has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Oh no, what have I done? No, come on, guys, come on. Guys, together, come on. Guys, behave for a second, come on. Always want to be the boss. <laughs> anyway. That's why YouTube, for example, suggests to upload 16 by 9 videos. The first number of the ratio always refers to the width of the image and the second refers to the height. For example, we could have two videos both filmed in full HD. Now, they could have the same resolution, but they can also have different aspect ratios. In this case, we have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and now we have a 9 by 16. In a few words, the amount of total pixels in the clips would be identical, but the orientation would be different. The 4x3 aspect ratio will feature 4 units along its width and 3 along its height. And this was used in the old televisions and video cameras, for example. The 1x1 aspect ratio is literally a square. So uh, the width of my image will be identical to the, the height. This is good for photos on your Instagram feed. I'm now going to show you some examples of the most common resolutions and aspect ratios and I hope it will make more sense. So what you're watching right now guys is me in an Ultra HD frame, which is a frame made of 3840 pixels by 2160 pixels with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. 
If I scale myself down to a 16 by 9 full HD resolution frame, also known as 1080p resolution, and where HD stands for high definition, this is how it would look like. This frame would have 1920 pixels by 1080 and it could fit exactly four times into an Ultra HD frame. Now this is me inside a 720p frame, also known as HD frame, made of 1280 pixels by 720 and I would still have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If I scale myself down even further, I could reach a 480p frame also known as SD, standard definition, which this time has an aspect ratio of 4 by 3, featuring 640 pixels by 480. Well, I guess that's it about resolution and aspect ratio. I hope this vlog actually helped you in clarifying a little bit about the two subjects right here. If you have questions, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment tabs below. I'm doing a lot of tutorials now about video making and video editing. So check my playlist. You can find it in the description down here or at the card right here. Also, please consider to subscribe if the video helped you somehow. I hope to see you in the next one. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Seems all good times.